Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Susie, and hope you all are doing great. Um, I'm here today. Today is the 6th of December, 2015. I had a, a rapture dream last night on the 5th of December, 2015, and I just wanted to encourage you guys, as I was in greatly encouraged with this dream that the Lord gave me, and it just shows us that... Um, he is very, very close to come and getting us to going home. And I hope you all going to be encouraged uh, by the end of this video. And so it started like this. I was in this building. You know, I was sitting like on a desk, you know, just uh, praying silently in my heart. And um, after that, after the prayers, I kind of like went outside. And people were doing their everyday things, you know. I saw people just walking. It was like a grassy um, area just outside. It was afternoon and very, very normal. And I was just walking. And um, immediately things started changing. I do not know if time passed or it just, it just appeared dark. I mean, it just started getting dark out of nowhere. And then uh, I looked up in the sky. I saw what appeared to have um, the skies, it was the stars. The stars were all lit up, all of them. I mean, there were so many stars in the sky. Nowadays, when you go outside and look at the stars, you hardly see any. But when I went outside in this dream, it was, I mean, the stars were just so much, so much and so many, and all of them were lit up. And then also what I noticed about the stars was they were surrounded by the rainbows like this, how recently the moon has been surrounded by colors. You know, I, I saw this kind of phenomenon on each and every star in this atmosphere, in the sky. All of them were, were just glorified. All of them were just beautiful, beautiful. I mean, it was just so much, so much. The stars were just so many glorified and all lit up. And um, I also saw... I also saw like there were kind of ca characters, cartoon characters in there. I mean, and then I also saw um, balloons falling down from the sky, coming down on the ground, like it was a celebration. There was a, a, I could sense, I could pick up that, you know, it was a celebration event, maybe a birthday party or whatever, but it was just a celebration. I could pick up the mood um, of the celebration. And so, um, and then after that, you know, it, this is all happening while it was dark because I could see the stars were shining greatly, very shiny. I mean, they were glorified, like I show you the picture of the moon. And it was just so full. The, the sky was so filled up. I mean, there was absolutely no space in the sky. It was all filled up with these stars that were all lit up, glorified. And it, it, the sky just looked like it was so busy, so busy. The cartoon characters, I do not know what could they could represent. I don't know. Maybe be, uh, maybe because I had the sense that, you know, there's going to be a lot of kids so maybe they were uh, making it um, beautiful for the kids, you know, because kids like cartoons and all that stuff. So that's what I was getting from it. And then, uh, like I also said, the balloons were falling to the ground. And then I saw in the distance, uh, as I was watching all this happening, I saw in the distance one person began to rise up in the sky. He was being ruptured up. And I saw him being ruptured up. And I, as I saw that, I started praying within my heart. And I said, Lord, I was just praying, Lord, you know, help uh, find me worthy to go, find me worthy to go. It was just a silent prayer. And then after that, all of a sudden, these invisible hands just came, they, they came and just scooped me up. They scooped me up in the sky sky you know I just went up and I felt all the sensation of being lifted up my my physical body really felt it too and after that I kind of like uh, uh when I felt that sensation that's when I woke up but you know I it, I went, People were being confused, you know, as all this was happening in the sky, you could see all these stars being lit up. I mean, there were the balloons were falling to the ground. People were panicking and they were asking, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Everybody was just kind of like going crazy. They didn't know what was happening. And uh, I didn't see a lot of people, guys, going up in that sky. I only saw one person and I was like the next one going. So, I mean, 
could have been, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not saying that people, a lot of people are not going to go. They're going to go, but maybe the Lord just showed me, uh, I've, you know, just showed me that particular person and then myself. But then also, um, like I said, people were panicking. They didn't know, they didn't understand what was happening, you know, and, uh, but there was nobody to answer them. Even though they were asking that question that what is happening, what is happening, Nobody was answering, nobody, because it was just so chaotic. You know, people were afraid, you know, uh, it was so beautiful. The sky was beautiful. The balloons were falling down and um, nobody was answering. And I was busy praying and I just got scooped up, you know, invisible hands came and got me up, you know. And um, so I, I just wanted to encourage you, uh, saints, it looks like, you know, from what I got from this dream, it does seem like, you know, the angels are ready in our atmosphere because we do know the stars that also represents the angels of God. And, you know, it's just uh, the heavens are here. I mean, that's the best way to put it, that heaven, the, the host of heaven is here in our atmosphere and they are probably waiting for something. You know, they're probably waiting and then and they're going to just start picking us up. The angels will start picking us up and we're going to be going home. And that's what I had last night. It was so vivid, so vivid. The experience of being scooped up, it was so magnificent, uh, you know, out of this earth. Out of this earth. I mean, uh, really, really magnificent. So that tells me that, you know, the rapture is absolutely close it was is absolute close so like i said the stars all of them were dressed in this glorified you know like with the colors the colors to them they had colors to them so uh that's all i had for this uh revelation i wanted to share with you guys i know a whole lot of people are having rapture dreams but i wanted to testify of my own and um i'm gonna read matthew 24 from verse 27 to 30 and which says for as a lightning comes from the east is visible even to the worst, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the, the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then all the people of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man, coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So it does seem like, you know, that's what I experienced over here on verse 31. He sent his angels and, and collected me. I mean, I, he, they're going to collect from the four winds of the earth. And uh, I urge you, and if there's someone out there who uh, you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I mean, we are running out of time. Please accept Jesus Christ. Make him your Lord and your Savior. You know, repent of your sins, you know, and invite him to be the Lord and your Savior. Because really, you know, you can clearly see the night is coming and things are going to get really, really bad once the rapture happens. And you want to be found in him. He is the ark of safety. So accepting today, make him your Lord and, and your Savior. And, um, you know, there's still time right now. We are still here and there's still time. And uh, that is why I'm, I'm doing these videos. And maybe somebody out there, you know, you're still contemplating if these things are true. And I, I can tell you that they are true because uh, the Lord has been speaking to us for a while now about this event that is coming. And it does seem like it's coming to, it's, we are coming to the end of this our journey. And so you want to be found in him, accept him when there is still time, because there might not be another time next time. You know, the word of God says today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts, you know, accept him. And so that you can be in, with him in paradise. So, yeah, so I'm over here, I, I, I did, did, did talk about the, the stars will fall from the sky. I do not know if it's the balloons that were falling from the sky. I do not know why the Lord showed me balloons falling down because normally the balloons, they really uh, float. They go up, but these ones were falling down and I do not know. So uh, just, um, this is the verse that came to my mind uh, with this uh, revelation of the rapture. So um, that's all I have for you, saints. This is Sister Susie. Stay encouraged. Jesus is coming. He is here. The host of heaven is, they are here and, and they are ready uh, to take us home. 
All right, till next time, Sister Susie, bye.